As built for AutoCAD, Photo Tools, Tutorial 2. Image Rectification by Geometry. After this tutorial, you will be able to adapt a rectification grid, assign the reference measurements, clip and rectify a photo, and add dimension information. Notice, for demonstration purposes, we will speed the video up in certain areas. If significant changes are made, we will review them and resume the video speed. The input for the method of image rectification shown in the tutorial is a photo plus some distance measurements as is in this sketch. In AutoCAD, select As Built Photo, Help, Open Tutorial 2 from the ribbon. The drawing tutorial 2.wg will open. In this drawing, you see a distorted photograph. A rectangular grid, also known as the rectification grid, has been applied over it. The photo was loaded using the load image command. The grid was added using the rectification grid command. The photo was taken with a special photogrammetry camera that does not have lens distortion. This image is only distorted by the central perspective projection. That's the core projection of any camera. If you take a digital photograph with a regular camera, you will have to select and apply the Correction of Lens Distortions command before you apply the process shown in this video. Refer to the user manual for further details on the correction of lens distortions. This file has been prepared to present a fast and uncomplicated result. Note, the example of this workflow is the fastest and easiest way to rectify an image, but it won't be as accurate as when control points are used. We recommend watching the Image Rectification by Control Points video tutorial. In the first step, adapt the rectification grid to give the program necessary information on distortion in the image. To do so, select the grid by clicking any of the grid lines. Use the blue grips to alter the grid and align it with the vertical and horizontal lines in the photo. Click one of the main grid points, marked by a small circle, and move it with the mouse. Click again to place it at the upper left corner. Zoom in and align the red line with the upper edge of the facade. Only the areas that are in line with the main facade plane will be true to scale after the image rectification. Ensure that the red lines align with the horizontal lines of the facade and the green lines with the vertical lines in the photo. The inner grid lines are auxiliary lines. They have grips between the intersection points with which they can be gripped and moved. Use the auxiliary line to move them so they lie at the window edges in the vertical and horizontal direction and at the ground floor ledge as well. Use the major grips again for correcting the first alignment. Now the grid is completely adapted. Press Escape. In the next step, go to the Rectification based on Geometry group and select the entry Rectification of Photos. Click New and click the photo. Now enter the measurements that were done on the field. Looking at the sketch with measurement, we will add 2.26 to the width, 1.96 to the height, and 11.76 to the large. Now we will mark where the measurements are in the image. Click the Width Measurement red command. Zoom into the window corner and click the starting point of the first reference measurement. Do the same for the second point. Follow the previous steps for the height measurement, green. Repeat with large measurement, magenta. In the frame rectified image, enter a few values concerning the result image. You can align it with the alignment option. We don't use this in our example. With the insertion point, light blue, define at which point the rectified image is to be placed in the drawing. Enter a reference point in the distorted image and assign it to a randomly chosen point in the drawing. Select this option. First, zoom to a spot in the distorted image and click a point that serves as a reference point. Zoom a region for the insertion point of the rectified image. Select a randomly chosen point beside the distorted image. Reference and insertion point will be marked and connected by a light blue line. 
Now only the file name is missing under which the rectified image is to be stored. You can select the auto naming of output file with the file being stored in the same folder like the original image with a suffix attached to the original file name and the same format. .tiff. With the ellipsis, name it manually and select from various file formats. Have a look at the image size. Click Further Settings. You will see the image's resolution represented by pixel size. Based on this photo, the highest resolution possible is 7.7 millimeters. Let's keep the settings as is. Now AsBuilt has enough information to carry out the rectification. Click Rectify to start the process. After the computation is completed, the rectified image displays. The formerly slanted lines of the facade are now parallel. The length of a line on the main facade is now true to scale. You can take measurement directly from the image with AutoCAD that, within the tolerances of the possible exactness, correspond to the measurements of the original. To reduce the size of the produced image, go to Image, Crop Image. Select the image, right-click, and select Points. Select the area to be cropped, then right-click, select Close, and press Enter. Delete the image on the left and run the rectification based on geometry command again. The software saved the previous settings for the image. Click Rectify and Yes. Now the resulting image is much smaller. The rectified image can now be used as an end result. We can use Dimension Annotation tools to add further information. Go to Dimension, Reference Height. Select a symbol and a prefix. Click OK. Navigate to the lower left corner of the facade and click a point for the zero reference height. Based on that setting, place height symbols. Adjust the layout and click OK. Click a point you want to label with the height information. Repeat the command and select the Repeat Insertion option to place additional height dimensions. Press Escape to end the command. You can also use native AutoCAD commands to add further annotations. Let's add linear annotations for the windows. For damage mapping, for instance, you can draw the outline of damage on the plaster using the polyline command on the Home tab. To complete the command, right-click and select Close. Then go to As Built Photo and from the Dimension group, run the Areas command. Select the Point Inside option. Click inside the boundary of the damage. The area is automatically recognized and marked. Press Escape to confirm your selection and get back to the dialog. Check the Keep Boundary option. Enter annotation text and click OK. Click in the drawing to place the annotation. In this tutorial, you learned how to adapt a rectification grid, assign the reference measurements, clip and rectify a photo, and add dimension information.